Hey guys, it's April here this morning with my mom, Kathy. Uh, wow, it probably looks like I'm really short. <laughs> wait, 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 maybe maybe I could go down a little bit. Wait, wait. Come no. down to my level? No, I don't think I it's can. It's okay, it doesn't matter. We're both in frame, so it's all good. Okay. Um, so I was on line this morning looking around, and I found like there's all sorts of cool tags on YouTube, and one is like a boyfriend slash husband tags. I don't got a boyfriend, but I got a husband. And you could do like the best friend tag and like there's a mom tag. So I thought I'd like print up. I just found like a super short list of questions. Uh, it's 10 questions from my mom. But uh, so feel free to answer freely, openly. Okay. I won't judge you for judging me or whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, number one, what was I like as a child? Precocious. You were always into something. You were always curious. You were very curious and very inquisitive. Sometimes I'd have to get back with you on answers to any questions you had. Okay. <laughs> uh, number two, what do you think of me making YouTube videos? I think it's great. I think it's great. I've always thought you'd be good as a broadcaster or a journalist or in front of people uh, delivering messages. Or So I love it. Okay. Number three, what's something funny I did when I was younger? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm scared of what you're going to say on this one. Oh, <laughs> if it's her most favorite story ever, no, I'm scared. It. I won't do it. I won't do that one. Okay. Okay, because it's kind of gross. But anyway, the cute, I guess, now, what is it again? You what's got? something funny I did okay. when I was younger? So, you were really great about uh, when you were three to four years old, if you said, Mom, here, I would, I a lot of times I just reach my hand out and I never knew what you were going to put in my hand. Sometimes it would be a half-eaten gummy bear, sometimes, but you never liked your hands sticky. So we went uh, trick-or-treating and the next day which you had quite a bit of candy and I portioned it out. Of course, you can get it all. But I had you sit down at the dining room table and I said, okay, you're going to have, to, I'll, and I'll let you eat. So I portioned you out some taffy and so whatever candy you were eating. In other words, was really, really sticky. And so you had your hands just covered in it in about 10 minutes. Now I'm coming through. I'm about to uh, fold some clothes. You go, here, Mama, here, Mama. And it was, and so I reached down, and you put both your hands in my hands, and so we were just covered in taffy. Aww. I laughed for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> and then you and I walked, his hands stuck together and washed it. But it was the funniest thing. Aw, that's funny. Uh, number four, have you learned anything about makeup or beauty from me? I have. I've learned about different types of skin care, different types of cosmetic and products that I would never dream to look at if you had no introduced them to me. Cool. Number five, what's a weird habit of mine? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Once again, I'm scared. I don't know why I'm scared. I don't feel like I do anything that's, like, really weird. No. Do no, I? no. Uh, going back and checking the door when you leave and you're the last one out of the house mm -hmm. and it's locked and you know it's locked mm -hmm. and I you said I did this to you well that's good it yeah you made me paranoid so, <laughs> so you go so we'll be in the car we'll be all dressed we'll be ready to head out and you go just a minute I think you've left something in the house you run up to the door up the deck and check the door again yeah and dad my dad always tells me he always makes fun of me because I smell everything like you get a new toy at the store, I gotta smell the packaging, when you open it, I gotta smell it, like, food, everything, like, it could be perfectly good, I just got it, like, I just bought it, I gotta smell it, like, I smell everything, so, my dad thinks I'm weird about that, so. Well, I raised you that way, though, because I, I took nutrition, I was working towards being a dietitian, and I would open packages of food before I served you guys, automatically smell of it because so I guess I get that from you. right so it's just probably some, a little quirk you picked up from me number six if you had to rename your daughter what would you name her you almost were Amy Michelle oh I know no offense against anybody whose name is Amy Michelle but I don't like it uh, well I was supposed to have a little boy little boy little boy and that there was I was in the hospital that last month with you and the nurse came in that took care of me her name was Amy Michelle and I had John David picked out. You were going to be a little boy. And I and my then around the corner, one of the nurses who were RNs come in. They're they about to induce labor. And she goes, you need to pick a name for this baby. And I said, I don't know, Amy Michelle. And then I just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't ring right. And I said, well, I tell you what, I was born in April. How about April? 
And so that's how you got your name. Okay, number seven. Uh, when you guys go out to eat, what does she order in reference to me? Steak, <laughs> rolls, potatoes. Yeah. She's a meat and potatoes gal. Yeah. I eat other stuff, too, but, like, yeah. that's, like, my staple. That's, like, what I really, like, if I was to have a last meal, it would be, like, a steak. <laughs> well, that's what you go to a nice restaurant, you know, yeah. that's what you order. Um, number eight, I think this is a stupid question because she has one of both, but whatever. Um, and I think that's kind of perfect, but that's just me. Uh, did you want a boy or a girl? When you were born, or? I guess. It just yeah, says, I mean, when, with that pregnancy, you thought I was a boy the whole time. Right. So, I already were had... you bummed out that... Okay, sorry. No, I already <laughs> had, I already had a, a, a son. He was three and a half, almost four when you were born. Mom, were you brother. bummed out to have a second no. boy? I, I, would, I, I was told, oh, it's another boy, another boy. Oh, okay, you know, you embrace as long as they're healthy and they got all their fingers and toes. I was thrilled. I was over the moon when I found out I was having a little girl. Are you kidding me? All the little dresses. I went and found the seamstress and had some of your dresses made. You were all for, for Oh, I was fantastic. Because, see, for her, it really was like she didn't... It's like if she hadn't even never knew because it was a surprise. I didn't know. <laughs> that so, I was a girl. Because when you were born, <laughs> the doctor said, oh, it's a little girl. I said, no, I had a little boy. And he goes, no, you didn't. And I was excited. Aw. And number nine, feel free to answer freely. <laughs> What's something I do that annoys you? You're a loud talker. Sometimes you'll just be talking, <laughs> and, then, and then all of a sudden it's really loud, and I'm like, are you upset? No. <laughs> but That's your true. husband is bad. He's worse. He's, He's worse. worse. He is he worse. He came out of the doctor's office the other day and was like, hey, honey, rah, rah, rah. And I was just like, honey. Like, I was then, like, out in this waiting room, like, in the hallway, kind of, and it was yeah. all echoey, you know, and I'm like, honey. After three years, I've learned if I do like this, he'll lower his yeah. tone voice. I'm a loud talker. My husband's a loud talker. My mom can be a loud talker. I can be, yeah. He runs in the family, so to speak. Um, and number 10, the last one. What's something I obsess over? Personal care. You want your hair to be just right. You're, I mean, you know, you're very good with about uh, dental care. You're just, your, it's not a vain thing. It's not a parents thing. It's a health thing. Your hair now can grow a, a tiny bit and it'll drive you nuts. But I would say personal care. You obsess over your family. You take really good care of all of us. I mean, you really are. I don't know what I've done without you this last year. Um, but you, you just, you just obsess over taking care of yourself and the family. And that's, that's just, you know, it's why I love you. Well, thank you. I love you. I love you too. Don't cry. Are you crying? You're just so so sweet. Oh, mom, <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, well, this was fun. I'm gonna have more of these videos. I got a husband tag coming, and Andrea's coming over tomorrow night. We're having a twilight slumber party. Don't be jealous, y'all. I know you're jealous. jealous. Mom's going to join in and uh, watch some of the movies with us, I think, if you feel yeah, like it. Yeah, I would it. like to watch um, this one. So we're probably going to make some videos tomorrow night, and it's going to be cray-cray, y'all. Okay, well, thanks, Mom, again. I appreciate it, because I just kind of popped this on her, like, we're going to do a video, y'all. So anyway. Okay, guys. Well, see you again soon. Bye. Bye. I got to get up and turn it off. Bam.